lighting design is a, is a curious combination because it's a lot of science and a lot of art together. And what I feel is that one needs to ideally start with a broad education because so much of what is coming out of theater is actually life. And in my case, I think it's probably a good example. I started out actually in the sciences when I went to university with no intention of going into theater. Which science? Uh, I was doing physics and chemistry. Uh, I was going to become a, like a, a Russian speaking physicist so I could communicate with the, the Russians. Um, and I sort of stumbled into theater by accident, which is to say I took a course in theater as an elective because I needed an arts elective. Now, what I then did was I realized this really is where I'm interested in pursuing a career, not in specifically sciences. But looking back on it, one of the reasons I think I ended up in lighting was because of my science background, insofar as I could sort out Ohm's Watts, you know, this kind of thing, but also understand the way that light actually worked in the scientific sense, which I could then apply by extension to the theatrical sense. Do you mean in terms of photons hitting surfaces or do you in mean terms of the, 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 and the, in a sense the behavior of light I mean you know re reflection refraction this sort of thing and when I began to as I say focus on theater as a, a sort of profession I then started to take a lot of arts courses but the point was that all my background which was very eclectic in terms of courses I mean I was taking courses in anthropology and art history and so on, all those things added up to what I would call a solid foundation for an actual career in something like lighting design. Because I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you can't go into something like theater art, and by that I mean designing, uh, with a very narrow perspective. That'll shoot you down every time. You've got to understand life, you've got to understand the characters that are on the stage that you're lighting. You've got to, got to understand the social history of a period. Uh, and it may, may not seem particularly relevant to lighting in some respects, but you see a particular quality of light in, for example, paintings as you go through the history of art. And a lot of what my job is to, in a sense, hit what I would call the resonances that say to an audience, oh yes, that, that does look like the period of say Rembrandt that does look like a period of say a more modern time because all of these factors of what I call the sort of the social background eventually come into play in how good a designer you are because my job as a lighting designer is very simply to create an appropriate environment of light for the action of the piece whatever I'm doing whether it be ballet opera theater all these things and without having a background in a wide range of, I mean, art, literature, science, etc., I think you're deprived. I think you're not really going to be able to come to terms with the job at hand.